Jung Woo Kim joins me now from Washington to share his story. Uh, Jung, you, you're smiling. <laughs> You're waving that flag and you're smiling, which is actually a huge surprise. Because yes. the news that we got today, it's interesting that you're smiling because the news that we got today could, could really affect your entire future. Just walk us through how you're feeling, um, mm -hmm. just your thoughts on today. Has it sunk in yet? And, and you know, I have to be honest, did it really come as, as a surprise that President mm -hmm. Trump would make this decision? Well, first of all, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's important how I feel or how we feel as a dreamer. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for now is DACA is is, is temporary pro, temporary status temporary solution anyway. So mm -hmm. now Dream Act is in the Senate and the House. So we have to do everything we can to pass the Dream Act so we can have a permanent solution. So we can stay, we can continue study, we can continue work, we can continue contribute to this country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you, I mean, this is one question I asked uh, our last White House reporter who was just on this show. Do you think, given Congress's track record over the past six months or so, um, do you actually have faith that, that the Congress is actually going to come up with a solution in time before the deadline ends in six months? I don't know about, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know, I can't say I have a face in Congress, but I have mm -hmm. a face in people. I have mm -hmm. a face in community. I have a face in unity. I have a face in love. I have a face in compassion. So um, if people are united, we never be defeated. So um, it's up to us, up to fellow Americans who have a good heart, come out, come out to the public. So we, as a dreamers, 800,000 dreamers, we are already um, here in state. We work, we go to school. That means um, the employer can come out and defend their employees. Educator can come out, uh, defend, um, protect their student. And also mm -hmm. faith that can come out and protect their um, members. So it's up to them to come out and uh, um, support. Then I'm sure we can have permanent solutions so we can, we can stay here and continue to contribute to this country. So, so Jung, I have to be honest, I'm, I'm really impressed with just how optimistic you are. Like, I love the light that is shining from you. But, you know, if you could have a sit down with President Trump and explain to him why this is a mistake, what would you say? Um, well, I've been doing the protesting for 22 days or 24 seven in front of the White House uh, from August 15 to today. I think today is our last day, 24 seven vigil. Uh, by doing that, um, I don't know, I don't know what I can say to Trump, President Trump, but I met thousand, thousand, thousand people during the protest. Uh, um, and, and those people, like 80, 80, 80 percent of people I've, I've met, they didn't know about DACA, but once they know, once they know our, my story, my fellow DACA uh, friend's story, that they, they, they support, they support. So if people support, I think President Trump needs to support. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, how, I think it's very simple. So uh, the president follow the people, not the mm -hmm. politics. So you're basically banking on a lot of support across the country, people coming together and, and standing mm -hmm. with you. Jung, right. I have to leave it there. It's been a pleasure having you on, though. Um, and listen, I, I wish you the best of luck over the next six months, okay? Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for waving that flag. Okay, take care. Bye.